A detour at the I-75 US-35 interchange is about a day away from beginning. So we took a closer look at what you need to know to navigate your way through that area. If you travel north on Interstate 75 from 35, you'll have to take a U-turn detour. Jordan Burgess is live with that new, perhaps complicated way to go. Jordan? If you're one of the 10 to 15,000 drivers who take that route every day, then you better get used to this route. Now, if it looks familiar, that's because it is. Although this time around, ODOT officials hope that drivers take to its unique design a little quicker. Get ready for another round of the Orange Barrel Polka here at I-75 and US-35. But this time, that driver dance will have a similar step. It's just going to be like last summer. They'll go right around, flip around, and come back northbound. That's right. Remember the U-turn at the Edwin C. Moses exit that drivers used before to get to US-35? Now they'll be using it to get to Interstate 75 North. It's an innovative idea, this, this continuous U-turn. But sometimes innovative ideas take some getting used to. We had some confusion. You know, we were able to take care of some of that with some additional signing and things like that at Edwin C. Moses itself. So obviously we'll implement that same uh, signage here on Thursday morning to make sure it's as clear as possible. If everything goes as planned, this is the route you'll take to get from 35 to I-75 North. Of course, you won't be able to go this fast. We're told the detour will add about three or four minutes to your drive. Leave yourself, you know, a few extra minutes in the morning. Uh, look for the signs. We're going to have plenty of signs up for the detour, and we really don't feel we'll have too many problems. Ah, uh, so you better get used to seeing these orange barrels. We're told that detour will be in effect for about nine months. And remember, 10 to 15,000 cars through here every day. So when that detour does go into effect Wednesday night at 8, just be a little patient as you head to work Thursday morning. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.